Welcome to Solo Son Historias. Since humanity was born, it has always looked up to the sky and has observed the stars and how they form constellations. Stories were created then, stories that tell victories of heroes, or stories of monsters and creatures that remain from generation to generation. These stories have helped to recall the past, comprehend our present, and also were used to predict the future of humanity. They are still up there in the sky. Twelve are the main ones, and each one of us is born under the protection of one of them. And today I am bringing the story of the first three, the symbol, and what is behind each one of them. According to the myth, a king named Athamas had two children. Their names were Heli and Brixus. The king eventually fell in love with a woman named Eno, but she secretly hated her stepsons. Floating and calculating ideas of how to disappear them brought a plague into the city. The crops no longer bore fruits. The people died of hunger, so the people went to an oracle. But Ino, who wanted to make the children disappear, once and for all, conspired with the oracle to tell the population that the only way to be saved was by sacrificing the children. The mother of the kids, who had died time ago, saw everything from the underworld and prayed to the gods to save her children. The gods took pity and sent a flying ram to save them. Coming from the sky flying, put the children on its back and fled to distant lands where they could be saved. Heli unfortunately fell off and sank into the sea. Phrixos arrived to a land called Colchis and sacrificed the ram in honor of the gods for saving him. The king of Colchis, that country, received the fleece of the ram and hung it on a tree protected by a dragon. Sometime later, it would be known as the Golden Fleece and would be part of another great story, Jason and the Argonauts. This was the story of Ares. Now we move on to the second sign, Taurus, or the bull, noble animal, great symbol of strength, of the material, and as I said, a beautiful animal, worthy of value. Knowing all this, Zeus, king of the gods, who adored the beauty of mortal human women, one day was contemplating a young lady named Europe, who was daughter of a king named Agenor. He fell in love with her and hatched a plan to become a bull to kidnap her. One day, Europe was walking with her friends, grazing the king's cattle. Suddenly, she saw a beautiful white bull among the cattle, white as the snow. It was Zeus turned into a bull. Europe fell in love with this animal, riding on its back. All of a sudden, Zeus ran into the sea and swam to bring her to the coast of Crete. Legend says that Europe had three children with Zeus, and these were Minos, the future king of the city, his brother Redamantis, and Sarpedon. Zeus's love for Europe was so great that he placed the symbol of the bull that she had loved in heaven so that they would be together. This is the story of Taurus. And finally, Gemini, the twins. The myth tells that Lyra, queen of Sparta, was seduced by Zeus. Yes, Zeus again, in love with her this time, not turned into a bull but into a swan, seduced her and conceived two children with her, Pollux and Helen, exactly the famous Helen of Troy. But the next day, she also gave birth to two sons from her marriage to a mortal king. These were Castor and Clytemnestra. Castor and Pollux, being children of different parents, grew up together and their brotherly love became mythical. They took care of each other and were always together. Both were good and brave men. They also took part of the Argonauts, 
who along with Jason went to get the Golden Fleece. Thanks to their feats, they became a symbol for sailors. Unfortunately, Castor was assassinated, and Pollux, very sad for having lost his beloved brother, asked his father, Zeus, to grant him with the immortality that he had for being his son. Zeus not only gave him immortality, but also put their brotherly love in heaven so that they would always be remembered by the people. This was the story of Castor and Pollux. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Solo Song Historias, and soon we will continue with more zodiac signs. See ya.